The Division franchise has been consuming my life since 2016. With the release of Division 2 in March of 2019, we are drawing closer to the end of the life cycle for the Division 2. So what does this mean to the next-gen console players for Division 2? The developers have announced that there will be backwards compatibility with next-gen consoles. But the thing here as we move into next-gen gaming, there will not be any game improvements to this game. We will still remain at 30 FPS, um, there will be no graphical changes, there will be no new game content. It will absolutely be the same game as we had on the PS4. When I got my hands on the PS5 on launch day, the very first game that I installed was The Division 2. I did notice some performance improvements while playing it on the PS5. On the PS4, I seemed to experience frame drops from time to time. On the PS5, the frame rates were at a consistent 30fps. It seems a bit smoother now compared to what I had on the PS4. I have conducted some tests with regards to the loading times. On my PS4 Pro, I have a SanDisk Plus SSD installed. And here are the results for the loading time comparison between the PS4 Pro and the PS5. Can you feel it wrapped around your soul with no control? You can't breathe when you're drowning under water. There's so much water. So from the results of this comparison, we do see a slight increase in-game in loading times and fast travels. The more noticeable difference was from the dashboard to the main game itself and the beginning of the game. The dark zone fast travel times are only at a difference of a mere 2 seconds. I hope you have found this piece of information useful. If you'd like to support the channel and like to see me do more content on The Division 2, please click on the subscribe button, click on the notification bell, you will greatly help the channel out, you greatly help me out. Till next time, this is Lino from Smash Pop Junkie, see ya!